Hello, my name is Doug Reese. Welcome to the Swanee Tiger video blog. We had a great game last Saturday, October 5th, against the Birmingham Southern Panthers. The Panthers went into halftime with a lead over the Tigers of 21 to two. After halftime, the Tigers came out, they woke up, and they were ready to play. Cortez Brown had an interception that he took to the end zone for a touchdown. And also, Quentin Jones had an interception. And then we had some great play by the offense of the Tigers. Now, here's Coach Tommy Laurendeen and Coach Evangelista to give you just an interview after the game. We have Coach Laurendeen with us today. Coach Laurendeen, big win for the Swanee Tigers. Your first conference game this year, but what a comeback. What a comeback you guys had. Tell us about the comeback that you had. Well, everybody wants to know what I told them at the half. And to be honest with you, there wasn't a whole lot said. We were trying to get them to calm down a little bit. They, they did some things in the first half defensively that we really hadn't worked on. And we just made a few little subtle changes here and there. We got, our, we got ourselves settled down and we came out the second half and they moved. We were able to move the ball on a consistent basis. And uh, we got them, they got a little tired on defense over there. And the two interceptions, one return for a touchdown, that definitely helped. <laughs> that, so, that, that really helps your offense there. Oh, no, there's no doubt. <laughs> when your defense plays offense, it helps your offense. There's there. no doubt. We really needed that. You know, we talked all uh, week long about this is a new season. We played four non-conference games. Now this is the second half of the season. It's a new season. Now we're all conference play, 1-0 oh in the conference. Just got to keep it going from here. Well, you did a great job today. I, we, hats off to these young men. They showed a lot of heart and determination. And, uh, you know, you've been doing a great job as we've seen you coach this year. And just keep up the, the good job. Thank you, sir. Uh, would you like to highlight any of the, any of the players today? Well, hats off to Cortez Brown. Uh, made the interception, returned it for a touchdown. You know, he was a running back at the beginning of the year. After week two, we had an injury or two in the secondary, and we asked him, see, Cortez, would you mind going playing defensive back? Well, really and truly in his heart, he didn't really want to do that, but he did what's best for the team. And he reluctantly went over there. But let me tell you something, the kid is going to be a great corner for us before it's all said and done. He's got two more years with us after this season. So he's got a lot of ability, as you could tell, he can run. So uh, defense, the whole defense stepped up when they had to the second half. So, uh, you know, Curtis Johnson continues to be a leader for us on offense. He grinded away there, made some nice reads in the option the second half, and uh, just really helped us uh, drive the ball on a consistent basis there in the second half. And that, that's what gets defenses tired and on their heels. Now I have with me Coach Evangelista, the defensive coach for the Swanee Tigers. Coach Evangelista, you guys came up big today. You put the Tigers back in the game. Tell us about your defensive performance today. Well, it really, it was probably a tale of two halves, to be honest with you. We um, uh, had had just a couple of given up a couple of big plays in the first half. They really hadn't done anything. We hadn't practiced. I, we just lacked a little emotion, and we went in there at halftime and just, uh, you know, put our heads together and said, let's go out and play hard and have fun, regardless of what the score is. And came out in the second half, and you got to hand it to the kids because, uh, honestly, they anybody could have called what, what we did, did the second half. They executed and uh, made plays. Now tell us about uh, Cortez Brown and the big play he had, and uh, Quentin Jones had a really pivotal interception also. Yeah, we, we um, uh, were, were, it was a challenge for us to stop the run. We had to over load the box up, which we did very well. But what that does is that puts the secondary out there on an island. Um, Cortez, which has been a great addition, you know, Cortez started the year at, 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 uh, at running back, slot back for us, and uh, we just needed it to get some, some depth over there. Uh, he has picked things up quickly, uh, has made some huge plays for us, has got the potential to be one of the better corners that's ever played here. And uh, what can you say about Quentin? You know, he, he just, uh, he's always in the right place at the right time. Um, really all the guys in the back end today just did a great job of, of executing what we asked them to do. And when their number was called, they made the plays. Great job on defense today. Thank you for coming out and talking to us and big Absolutely. win for the Tigers. Absolutely. Congratulations. Now here's an interview with Cortez Brown who had a pivotal interception and run back for a touchdown and also quarterback Curtis Johnson. I have with me Cortez Brown. Cortez, you came up big. Uh, you had an interception for a touchdown, a pick six. Tell us about that pick six. Well, uh, first off, this is my first time playing defense. I was running back 
prior to this, and I'm just trying to catch up and adjust to things. Thankfully, Daynard and Quinn has taught me how to actually play. And when I actually when I got the pick, I didn't I, I didn't know what I was doing. I just took the ball, ran with it, and I just cut off. And thankfully, uh, Alex Cops came over and blocked for me, and I was able to score a touchdown. And so I was just I was thankful. Great job, especially since uh, you haven't really played defense okay. since uh, you were in high school. Now tell us a little bit about yourself here on the mountain. Um, I'm on the honor council. I'm an AP. I'm a Spanish major with a pre-med track. I'm an Arcadian for admissions office. So I have a pretty busy schedule and on top of football and track. So, Well, great job today and, and uh, big win for the Tigers, big conference win. Thank you very much. Thank you. And you have a good week and we'll look forward to seeing you next week against Rhodes. Yes, sir. Now I have with me Curtis Johnson. Curtis, the quarterback for the Swanee Tigers. He had a big day today, 99 yards rushing, 47 yards passing, a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown. Tell us about the day for the Swanee Tigers. Um, this is a great day, a uh, great day to open up conference, come out here, get a win. I uh, feel we came out a little flat in the first half. Uh, we were down big, um, but the defense it came out solid. Four, two interceptions and pick six uh, by Cortez. Um, another big interception by Quentin Jones. Um, I mean, that, that was great. It just energized us, and uh, fans got into it. And we fed off that energy to continue to drive and pound and just punch it in. And uh, we just played with passion and fun in the game, I feel like. Well, you had a great game today, and it really helps out when your defense plays offense for you. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was a good game. Uh, tell us a little bit about next week against Rhodes. What's that game to mean to you, especially as a senior? Um, it's huge. <laughs> I can't even describe it. We've played these games uh, against these guys pretty close. Uh, all my time I've been here and uh, it's a big rivalry game everyone's uh, it gets it gets pretty heated and everyone's uh, riled up to go and uh, I'm pretty sure they circled it on their schedule and we have too and uh, they got us at home last year in the last minute and uh, we, we plan to take care of business this week. Now tell us about Curtis Johnson your senior here at Swanee tell us what you like to do tell us your major and what you like to do. Um, here at Swanee I'm majoring in art um, interested in graphic design but right now mostly on the fine art side with drawing and painting um, I've been involved in leadership positions here as a proctor and uh, assistant proctor previously my sophomore and, and junior year and now I've, I've uh, just taken a step back to relax and, and really embrace this time here on the mountain um, it's been an opportunity uh, to start a business uh, t-shirt line and we've sponsored a few events on campus and uh, really excited about that going into the future. Well congratulations on the big win today and uh, thank you for coming and talking to me today thank you, sir. and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Oh yeah. We would like to thank you for watching the Swanee Tiger football video blog. Now next Saturday at McGee Field at one o'clock the Rhodes Lynx will be coming to the mountain to take on the Swanee Tigers. So come out and support the Swanee Tigers and watch this in-state rivalry.